and look at the response of the Jews. You know what I'm saying? They're persecuting them. They refuse to hear, listen, adhere, believe the gospel that they might be saved. No one was judging them or condemning them. Again, in Acts chapter 13, verse 46, this says, Then Paul and Barnabas walked, waxed bold and said, It was necessary that the word of God should first have been spoken to you. But seeing you put it from you and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life. Lo, look, we turn to the Gentiles, to the nation, to the Jew first, then to the, to the Gentiles, to the nations. Okay? And so we've experienced that same thing in our day and time. There's nothing new under the sun. You know what I'm saying? Whether we went to a church building or a place that they said were a Christian gathering, assembly, or whatever, we went into some of these same places, particularly churches. And we experienced the same treatment that the apostles and prophets uh, experienced. Persecution. Okay? That, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so we, you know what I'm saying, have the same responsibility that when we're, you know, persecuted, you'll think that persecution is going to come from without. Those who are outside the assembly of God in Christ. You know what I'm saying? Like that. But a lot of times it'll come from those who are within. Why? Because it's starting from the head, from the leadership. You see here, he's telling you, the, the Jews, they stirred up the devout and honorable women and the chief men of the city. They starting at the head. It's coming from the head. Okay? On down, you know, stirring up the people. You know what I'm saying? Like that. And if you're in a place where you know you're coming under persecution and you might even go into the leadership and say, hey, this is what's going on. Sister so-and-so and brother so-and-so, they not showing me no love and they come to get... But a lot of times, it's coming straight from the pulpit. It's coming from the head. They the ones, you know what I'm saying, they're like Saul trying to, you know what I'm saying, pierce David with a javelin. You were there sitting in the pew and they throwing javelins at you and darts at you. you like, man, what do I do? You up in the choir, you serving. You know, darts are coming at you. you like, what do I do? You know what I'm saying? Why am I being treated like this? What happened to the love? When I first was welcomed, you know what I'm saying, like that, it was love, love, love. Join the church, join the church. It's love, love, love. Then when I join the church and I, you know, I start serving, my gifts start coming forth. Then all of a sudden, it's a 